these days could fundamentally alter everything we understand about our place in the cosmos. At this very moment, as you watch this video, the interstellar object called 3I Atlas is at its closest approach to the Sun, a phase astronomers call perihelion. This is a critical moment, and what is happening now is unprecedented in the field of astronomy. This is not just another comet. 3I Atlas is exhibiting behaviors that challenge all existing models of celestial mechanics, shifting its tail, glowing with unusual colors, and traveling through space at speeds that shouldn't even be possible. Some suggest it is a natural visitor from another star, while others, including a daring astrophysicist from Harvard, suspect it could be artificial. Newly gathered data from the James Webb Telescope, Hubble, and numerous ground-based observatories point towards a startling possibility. What's unfolding with 3I Atlas now might be the most significant discovery in human history or the first warning of something more concerning. When 3I Atlas was first spotted in July 2025 by the Atlas Survey in Chile, astronomers immediately noticed its unusual trajectory. Its orbit was not only elongated, it was hyperbolic, meaning it was not orbiting the sun like typical planets, comets, or asteroids. Instead, it was simply passing through, making it only the third confirmed interstellar object after Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. Even among interstellar visitors, 3I Atlas stood out. Its speed, exceeding 210,000 kilometers per hour, made it the fastest object of its type ever recorded. Its path would bring it surprisingly close, just 136 astronomical units from the sun, and later about one Australian dollar and 80 cents from Earth, around 267 million kilometers away. While far, this proximity allowed astronomers to monitor it closely. Early observations left the scientific community stunned. Its light signature did not match any known comet or asteroid. It was far too reflective, too structured, and remarkably stable under solar radiation. Approaching the sun, telescopes worldwide detected anomalies that sent shockwaves through astronomy. Hubble observed an unprecedented anti-tail, a bright stream of material pointing toward the sun rather than away. Weeks later, this anti-tail reversed, transforming into a conventional tail pointing outward. The abrupt and symmetrical change led some to speculate it might be a form of controlled propulsion. Observatories in Hawaii and Spain confirmed the phenomenon. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope discovered something even stranger. 3I Atlas's coma, its surrounding cloud, was composed of 87% carbon dioxide, 9% carbon monoxide, and just 4% water. No other comet in the solar system shares this composition. Almost bone dry, yet glowing in infrared, as if generating internal heat. Spectroscopy also revealed a massive CO2 cloud stretching nearly 350,000 kilometers, larger than Jupiter, containing traces of hydrogen cyanide and high nickel content with minimal iron, ratios some scientists described as industrial. When 3 Atlas reached perihelion, expectations of it breaking apart under solar radiation were proven wrong. Instead, it remained intact, surviving a direct coronal mass ejection powerful enough to obliterate fragile bodies. Observers noted its surface temperature rose, then stabilized, seemingly designed to endure extreme conditions. Its elongated 10 to 1 aspect ratio mirrored Oumuamua, though unlike the erratically spinning, Oumuamua 3i Atlas remained steady, reflecting light with a rare negative polarization, an attribute unknown in natural objects. Scientists nicknamed it the unbreakable visitor. Some theorists, including Harvard's Avit, even placed it in category 4 of his Loeb extraterrestrial scale which ranks interstellar objects by likelihood of being artificial. According to Loeb, 3I Atlas has a 40% probability of being technological. Others call this speculative, but as each anomaly emerges, that estimate increasingly seems prophetic. Currently, 3I Atlas is performing a maneuver physicists like Miyaku have been anticipating. Known as the Oberth Effect, this maneuver lets spacecraft gain immense speed by firing propulsion near a gravity source, in this case the sun. If it accelerates beyond what solar gravity allows, it would suggest deliberate control. Success would allow 3I Atlas to slingshot out of the solar system or potentially alter its trajectory toward Earth. Astronomers worldwide are monitoring it closely. NASA has quietly activated its planetary defense network, involving 227 observatories globally, officially listed as a training exercise. But the timing raises eyebrows. Rumors have circulated that radio telescopes detected a faint, consistent signal aligned with 3I Atlas's orbit, prompting widespread speculation. Could it be trying to communicate, interference, or perhaps a message from a machine older than human civilization? Days after perihelion, 3I Atlas exhibited another impossible phenomenon. It slowed deliberately, not due to drag, solar wind, or gravitational forces, but seemingly with intent. Tracking from NASA's JPL and ESA showed a steady deceleration of about 0.08 meters per square second over 20 hours, as if the object applied brakes. This deceleration occurred at the thermal equilibrium zone, where internal heat balances absorb solar energy, suggesting that something inside the object could be self-regulating. During the same week, Japan's Mitsuhara Deep Space Radio Observatory detected a narrowband signal from the general direction of 3I Atlas. Repeating pulses appeared every 247 seconds, the same interval observed months earlier when the object was behind the sun. Initially dismissed as noise, independent teams in Chile, Italy, and South Africa confirmed the pattern, proving it was real. The signal's phase coherence suggested intentional encoding rather than random emission. 
Leaks from the SETI Institute indicated harmonics in the hydrogen band, a universal frequency for interstellar communication. Someone, or something, wanted to be noticed. The scientific community split. One faction argued 3 at Atlas was the first tangible evidence of an interstellar probe, possibly relic technology from an extinct civilization. The other insisted nature could mimic intelligence if observed long enough, but mounting data made denial impossible. James Webb, redirected to track the object from L2, found unnatural polarization on the surface, with light reflecting in alternating planes, mirroring microsecond variations that aligned with the radio pulses. Simultaneously, Chilean observatory saw its tail split into two streams intersecting at a precise 90 degrees, a geometry impossible for natural processes. It was as if the object had divided its emissions, using its own vaporized gases to transmit optical signals across space. Theorists began to speculate. What if these weren't random flashes? What if 3 Atlas was employing light not to communicate with us, but with something else entirely? Then came the event that changed everything. On August 29th, as 3 Atlas passed beyond Earth's orbital plane, its trajectory shifted by 0.11 degrees, a small deliberate motion aligning it perfectly with the ecliptic plane of the outer planets. The alignment was uncanny. For 27 hours, the object's projected path formed a straight line passing through Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and beyond. Every telescope trained on it recorded an unusual luminescence radiating from its core, pulsing at regular intervals. Astronomers noted that the timing matched the planet's orbital resonances, as if 3i Atlas was tuning itself to the harmonic frequencies of our solar system. This was no random motion, it was orchestrated. What followed was even more unsettling. For the first time since its discovery, the object emitted a visible flash, a burst of ultraviolet light lasting 2.8 seconds, intense enough to ionize the surrounding solar wind. The emission wasn't diffuse, it was directional, aimed into deep interstellar space. When scientists traced the vector of the flash, it pointed directly toward the region between Vega and Lyra, the same area from which the mysterious WOW signal was detected in 1977. Then silence. The flash ended, the radio pulses ceased, and 3i Atlas disappeared from view. For weeks, the object remained invisible. Every telescope, radar, and tracking instrument monitored its last known coordinates, but there was nothing. No light, no heat, no reflected signals. NASA officially declared it optically lost, beyond detection. Yet within the raw data archives of the James Webb Space Telescope, a fragment remained, a sliver of light recorded in the milliseconds before the ultraviolet burst faded. Reconstructing the data revealed a faint interference pattern within the light itself, a modulation deliberately imprinted onto the universe. Within this pattern lay structure. The modulation was not random. It contained repeating frequency ratios, echoing hydrogen transitions, planetary resonances, and, most astonishingly, the electromagnetic heartbeat of Earth's atmosphere. Whatever 3 Atlas had emitted in that final pulse was not a mere flash. It was a message written in light, encoded in a language older than words. Scientists at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics ran the data through waveform analysis and were stunned. The signal mirrored the prime number sequences from earlier radio emissions, but now formed a three-dimensional lattice of interlocking spirals, resembling a double helix. This was not text, it was geometry, a universal constant, a blueprint. Avi Loeb, who had previously suggested 3i Atlas could be artificial, called it a cosmic signature of intent. According to his report, the geometric pattern represented a resonant encoding, a method of storing vast information in patterns of energy rather than symbols or language. If correct, this implied that 3i Atlas had not. A message to be read, but a code to be experienced, one interpretable only by recreating its frequencies, making the universe itself resonate as it once did. NASA immediately classified the data, but independent researchers mirrored the waveform and ran it through quantum resonance simulators. The result was extraordinary. A repeating harmonic emerged, intensifying with each cycle, as though the waveform interacted with space-time itself. Then, abruptly, the signal inverted and the simulation shut down. But before the shutdown, the AI translation module interpreting mathematical symmetries generated one final phrase. We remember you. The revelation spread rapidly through scientific circles before being purged from public databases. NASA denied any knowledge. SETI went silent. Even European Space Agency archives were temporarily locked under cosmic security protocols. Officially, 3 Atlas was deemed a natural interstellar comet. Its anomalies dismissed as errors. Unofficially, speculation grew that the object's final signal was not a farewell, but an activation. Two months later, observatories detected faint echoes of the same harmonic, not from Vega or Lyra, but from deep within the solar system. The resonance matched perfectly, as if something nearby had received the transmission and responded. The meaning remains unclear. Some dismiss it as solar interference. Others speculate it as a cosmic echo through the heliosphere. But a small group of scientists, the same who first decoded 3i Atlas's signal, suspect something far more profound, that the sender did not leave a warning or a threat, but a reminder. A reminder that intelligence may not exist only beyond the universe, but within it, in the harmony of light, matter, and consciousness itself. Perhaps 3i Atlas did not arrive merely to observe. Perhaps it came to awaken us. So, if this story makes you question what may be watching, not from above, but woven into the very fabric of the cosmos, do not look away. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and stay ready, because when that signal returns, you will want to witness the universe answering back.